Whether you are a soldier, law enforcement SWAT team member, or a weekend warrior, a good tactical chest rig can greatly increase your efficiency in the field. With pockets, slots, and pouches able to carry weapons, AR and AK ammunition, and even first aid equipment, they provide convenient access to everything without having to contend with a cumbersome backpack or overloaded belt. While those modular body armor items can also be used to carry extra gear, a chest rig can't hold ballistic plates. Therefore, a chest rig is a lighter weight, more streamlined, and more maneuverable option for those that don't need armor, but still have a lot of critical gear to carry. It takes a lot of time to go digging through options looking for the right tool. Chances are you might not even find what you're looking for. That's why we went out of our way to research and compile a list of some of the best chest rigs on the market. If you need to customize your loadout and make room for all your gear, we got you covered with the best chest rigs to help you stay fully loaded. As always, if you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Introducing the Strike Industries Boogeyman Chest Rig Bag. The Boogeyman Chest Rig Bag is designed to be a low-profile, lightweight, modular system for you to customize for any mission-specific setup. From the Strike Gear line of soft goods, this versatile boogeyman can be used as a chest rig, mini range bag, minus ammo, messenger bag, concealed carry weapon, and plenty more. The Boogeyman is made with YKK zippers that include a U-shaped nylon pull tab for fast and comfortable opening of the pockets. When looking to design the most modular system, a must was to add side webbing loops to provide a wide range of possibilities to store, attach, or clip various items. At the sides of the front pocket, there are four-way stretch storage pockets for such items like knives, multi-tools, and pistol magazines. Inside the main pocket, you will find three elastic webbing loops to organize your gear or insert rifle, pistol magazines. The front pocket, you will find four individual elastic webbing loops. The main pocket can fit an AR-500 plate up to 6 inches by 8 inches. With organization in mind for the user, inside both the main and front pockets of the Boogeyman chest rig bag, you will find a loop sidelined wall to organize your gear with any strike gear accessories and inserts, sold separately, as well as any of your favorite patches. On the back side of the Boogeyman, you will find a full loop sidewall so you can pair with the Strike Gear hook panel sold separately to connect and stack an additional Boogeyman bag to serve as an admin or medical pouch. There are seven possible areas on the chest rig where you can locate the included ITW split bar body buckles to set up the straps however necessity dictates, including configuring buckles to attach the Boogeyman to an existing carrier, chest rig, or other soft goods you already have. You can quickly convert the Boogeyman to a messenger bag with a simple unsnap of the button on the back of the bag and store it back when unused. This messenger bag conversion strap can also be used with a 1.5 inch belt as a belt pack. A D-ring is located on one side of the top of the Boogeyman so you can lock the main pocket zipper or use as a key hanger and more. Out of the box, you will get two shoulder straps with ITW latch and body buckles and a 3 bar slider adjuster. The included waist strap has the same ITW latch and body buckles, but with two 3-bar slider adjusters which helps with adjustments for configuring the chest rig setup or to convert the boogeyman into a hip pack perfect for those hiking outdoor instances. The field gray version of the boogeyman is made with 500 denier nylon fabric and the woodland version is made with 420 denier nylon fabric. The Strike Gear Boogeyman Chest Rig Bag gives you an extremely modular market option to carry what you need, whether it is a trip to the range or just a normal work day. Anybody who is working in a field that requires them to have additional camo setups, multiple radios, or somebody who relies on their radios as their primary function or primary job, that's really who we designed the thing one for. So whether that's a, an RTO who's carrying two radios, or if that's a TACP or JTAC, who's wearing two radios and they have to have accessibility to both of those systems at all times and they need to change batteries, they, they need to adjust a channel or you know a frequency or something like that. I think that is really the, the use case for this. Other people can use it as well if you're looking for just like a lighter loadout, you don't quite need all the Molly real estate that's on the thing too, then the thing one is gonna be the right fit for you. So in addition to holding radios really well, the pockets on either side of the thing one can also be used for holding other items too. Munitions fit really well in here, 5.56 magazines, smoke grenades, maybe even a water bottle. Those things will all fit well inside these pouches and can be used for that. 
We also took the liberty of placing laser cut molly on the sides of each pouch. And we did this because we wanted you to be able to expand the carrying capacity of the chest rig. And so these pouches can be something small like what I have on the outside here, which is just a pistol magazine pouch. But you could also use something a little larger, a flashbang pouch, uh, something like that, something that size would fit here as well. We kind of tuck those into this negative space so that you can get it in there and it's not really gonna, it's not really gonna bother you too much, but it's definitely using that space that's available. We also put holes inside each side of the pouch as well. And that, those holes can be used to route shot cord. And if you look on this side of my rig, there's a push to talk and I have a piece of shot cord that's kind of helping keep it tight against the pocket. That's going through some of those holes. And then you can see on the outside, I also have a tourniquet lashed to the side here. So those holes come organic, already ready to go. And it comes with all the parts that you need to make that work. Because we designed the thing one to work so well with radios, we also knew that it needed to route cables well. The battlefield is getting more and more network. There's more stuff that guys have to carry. On this rig alone, there's two different radios that are tethered together. We have a full size screen, a push to talk, and all of those things take cables. And so we cut new holes into the backside of the thing one that allow you to route combo cables back and forth from either side of the chassis. The chassis mounts in a very similar way. as if it was on a plate carrier or something like that. The buckles tuck up inside and then you just flap it down. So it is held on by Velcro there. And then on the back side here, it's held on by just the buckles that go underneath a small piece of, uh, of webbing. And then the sack pouch actually just fits inside of a, a little stuff pouch on the back side of the rig, just like it does on thing two, if you're familiar with that.